and welcome to your Go Market update for 15th of June 2022. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets here. Let's have a look at what's coming across the news. Of course, choppy session in the US overnight following those two days of significant losses. The Nasdaq managed to close slightly positive with the other two major indices slightly to the negative and the S&P 500 just edging lower into bear market territory. Markets are going to be waiting for the Fed interest rate decision now and reports suggest that there's a 94% chance of a 0.75 rate hike now priced in. Uh, originally, of course, it was thought that a half a percent interest rate rise was the likely scenario, but that inflation number last week has pushed those expectations higher. Uh, US futures are mildly higher in Asian trading and Asian indices are weaker on that Wall Street caution we've just referenced. The ASX is off its low. It was 0.5% down, now 0.3% to the downside. And European futures are pointing to a cautious open there. Pretty choppy. Very, very mildly positive at this stage. The US dollar has edged higher as bond yields are pricing in that additional rate rise and now at levels not seen for essentially two decades. Uh, it is up slightly in Asia again. The gold continues to look weak after a sell-off a couple of days ago and is pushed down further towards 1800. It was around about 1810 when we last looked this morning. And oil fails to break resistance at around about 126 on the Brent crude CFD contract. It's pausing today, but of course, we're quite early in the session. The VIX has also pulled back a little bit, but still near those monthly highs of 34. Essentially just taking a pause until we wait for that data to come out. One of the major stories over the last couple of days has been cryptos and their dramatic sell-off. Bitcoin, we referenced yesterday and the day before, had broken through key levels, trading at 18-month lows, just about holding 20,000, got down to 21,000. It's not just Bitcoin, of course, it's across the whole crypto space. We've already referenced that the Fed is the headline act today, later on. And of course, before that, we have got some numbers out. We've got Chinese retail sales and industrial production out. Later this afternoon, we've got Euro industrial production and US retail sales also due before the equity markets open this evening. It's going to be a high risk day and everything will be dependent not only on what the bottom line number is, but also the narrative that's given in the press conference subsequently. A couple of charts of interest today. Uh, we'll just check on Linus. You can see uh, Linus bouncing hard yesterday morning. Subsequent to open, there was a news release that suggested that they had secured a $120 million project in Texas via the Pentagon. That has seen some follow through today. One bright spot in an otherwise dreadful market. Um, but you can see that that is at the highs of the session so far back over the 200 ma so a close above 870 would support this potentially a move up to around about 915 of course this cements its place as the largest rare earth producing company outside of china on the fx front things are pretty choppy this morning we're just keeping an eye on the Aussie yen, you can see on the 30-minute chart, we found some short-term support around about 92.65 and moving up to 93.40 at this stage. We're looking for a test of 93.60. And if we do break this, there is a relatively healthy upside of around about 60 pips potential on this. If we look at the daily chart, you can see why we've put these figures in. There's the key level that we bounced off yesterday, and that's what we're eyeing as a potential signal today. But just want to reinforce, these are very high-risk markets and likely to recalibrate completely subsequent to the Fed decision. Trade safe, and we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.